can't believe oh it. Oh my gosh, she has teeth or something in there. All right, I want to welcome you to this episode of BTR Outdoors. And on this episode, we're covering quite a bit. That's why the video is so long. Um, probably the first thing is it's never too windy to go fishing. Actually, wind can help you uh, when you're fishing, especially if you are uh, facing or fishing into the wind. Um, it's basically blowing all the bait fish um, to shore, and that's where the uh, predator fish is going to be. And you'll see that in the video. Um, also in this video, I went out there just to try to catch some bait fish to catch some catfish, and also had some uh, surprise um, catch. Probably the third thing I want to talk to you about this video is the Berkeley Gulp Alive minnows, the little one inch minnows, and the Gulp Alive waxies. They're all in this little um, kind of oil. It gives it the, uh, the flavor that fish love, the, the odor. It just adds, um, kind of activates the senses of the fish. And I want to do a review on these too. Um, I've had them for a couple of years and they're still good. That's the one good thing about um, this type of bait is it never goes bad. It's been in my pickup during the hot Texas heat and it still works good. And I'll give you a close up to show you uh, what these actually look like. And you'll probably see it in the video also. So uh, stay tuned. I hope you enjoy the video. Um, just a heads up, there's a lot of fish caught. Um, especially a lot of the bait fish that I was after and some and a few uh, surprise catches. All right, I hope you enjoy the video. All right, I just want to give you a close-up look. Like I said, the uh, the jars are kind of old. They're about two years old. Go up alive. And these are the waxies. And let me show you what they look like. You can see the juice that they're in. They kind of oil. This fish attractant, and they're just a, they're connect, they're little rubber waxy uh, wax worms that are together, and you can just pop them off one by one, almost kind of like a link of sausages. But that's what they look like. And the Gulp Alive one inch minnows. Again, you have the oil, which I have another lure down in there, which. Works pretty good. And they're just, they look like a little tiny minnow. If I can get that in my, there you go. They just look like a little tiny minnow. Been soaking in that fish attractant and kind of show you how well they, uh, they work. Do a little review on them. All I'm using is this a real small hook couple of those uh, alive waxies just a weighted bobber just to throw it out there it's a real shallow out here so only got about six inches deep all the winds blowing all the bait fish towards the shore and I've seen a bunch of pretty big carp just swimming up and down the bank I'll try to go for some uh, crappie later on right now just after some perch because I need some bait fish oh oh that one goes that one got away
I don't know what that was. Oh my goodness. I don't even know where my my bobber's gone. It hasn't came up yet. I don't know what hit it. I guess the rock must have. Goodness. That's a pretty one. down the rocks. set up This is just fun to get off work. At least the wind. It's 100 degrees out here. The wind makes it tolerable. It's not real crowded. Smaller, but still a little shoot. That might be too big. Nico. 
up a little bit. Put a little crappie hook on it. Just put a snailed crappie hook on there. Put a little gulp alive in that. It's a crappie, but I don't that point. That's just looking like I'd be uh, crappie fishing. The only thing is, I'm not catching crappie. Catching perch and channel cat. and keep them out of the rocks. Nope, he uh, broke it off. Oh my goodness.
come on. Hey, got it. My goodness. Up here. Oh, come on, brother. Catfish probably got that last time. Still don't know what happened. My cork is still down. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, got him. Uh, owie. And he pinned me for the effort, but I did catch him, so. I guess we're even. Another channel cat. Come on. Dang it, I'm gonna lose him. Oh, I turned my drag the wrong way. There's my cord. Dang it. Oh, there you go again. Oh my goodness, that was a, that was a pretty good one.
kick them out of the rocks. about three, I think a couple on one, and about three in the others. I'm gonna put those in a freezer and freeze them fresh. Then I'll take them out to uh, do some catfishing. All right, I wanna thank you for watching BTR Outdoors. Hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's a lot of information, um, a pretty long video, but uh, just thank you uh, for watching it. I also want to thank you for subscribing. Um, so, as always, hit that subscribe button. It helps out the channel. Hit that like button. Uh, comment. I'm still getting lots of comments and I like it. And I try to answer every one of them. So, until the next video, I'll catch you later.